Hey, what's going on, guys? The Adventure here today, doing another video for you. So this is gonna be a part two of the part one video that I made. Um, it was what lore and when do I fish them? I think that was the name of the video, something like that. Um, can't remember. It was a video that I made day before yesterday. Um, it was about basically going over crankbait, jerk bait. Um, spinner bait, jig, bug bait, you know, a lot of other stuff. And I talked about them, you know, when to fish them, what they do, all stuff like that. Um, but then my camera died, so it's just gonna be a part two with the newly charged camera. So let's get right into it, guys. Um, so first off, I mentioned the shout out in my last video that I was gonna give a shout out, and I never did. So I'm going to go ahead and do the shout out now, before I forget, it was to Talon Smith. Um, he is the shout out for today. There will be more shout out, a lot more shout outs, so guys, stay tuned. Um, so, check out his channel, it's called Talon Smith. Um, he shows me some love, uh, good with skateboard, he's pretty good on a skateboard. Good dude, so. Alright, now that that's out of the way. Let's get into today's video. Um, so, video before last, we were talking a little bit about drop shots, um, and I wanted to go a little bit more into depth about what it looks like and what more to use during a drop shot. So uh, I have, I have my new big casting rod here that I just bought. It's uh, a, it's an Abu Garcia reel and a, a Quantum Icon reel. Pretty cool. But, uh, so I'm going to show you. This is what a drop shot is. It's a uh, just this that I can show you off, uh, really. Basically, what it is is. Oh, man. There you go. So, this uh, weight is going to be on the bottom. And then, this is just going to be floating. And you're going to jig it. Like, you're gonna just going to bounce it and jig it. And, uh,. That weight's gonna stay there, and this guy's just gonna flutter. And uh, you want realistic, low-profile baits like uh, this guy. This is like uh, not—it's technically a fluke, but uh, if you'll notice, it's smaller. It's a lot smaller, and uh, it doesn't have a split in its chest either. It's just a uh, you know a little drop shot fish. Um, a few other lures you can use to a drop shot is. These, uh, these guys, let me show you here, um, this is a pretty small minnow, like I said, you want low profile, and what I mean by that is you don't want, like, you don't want a big pink lure, like this big stands out jigging, you don't want that, that's not going to look right, you want, like this guy, this guy's clear, but uh, he'll stand out in the water a little, a little jerk shad, I think these are called. And uh, by the way, this rig's a bottom rig. This is for like winter, when the bass are getting way more um, slower and they're not biting as much. That's when you should use a drop shot. Um, so these, these I use. Um, the other little shot I use. Um, just anything not too big, like a little rubber, a little plastic like that, like these things and. So we're good. So that's drop shotting. Now, before I go into, I'm going to talk about the donkey rig. Um, but before I get into that, I want to show you a couple more plastics that I didn't get to get into that I think are very important to know to buy and that it will catch fish for you if you fish them right. And I'm going to tell you how to fish them right. So let me get this out of the way here. Try number one. Okay, so next important lore are these guys. Um, they are crawfish, artificial crawls. Um, I'll get one out of the package here. This is what they look like. They're you can get all different sizes. To my hand, that's what they look like. They're basically a rubber crawfish with a bent tail, and they're like split. Here, let me show you. They're like split there. Um, how you would do this is. Take a jig head. Do I have any? Okay. Um. 
you take a jig head like this guy right here and you just stick them right in through just hold on come on this guy's doing it there we go just like that so it hops on the bottom just like that this is the bottom you're fish just like a jig if you don't remember how to fish a jig you can rewind the, you can go to my last video and I explain how to fish a jig and uh you can fish just like a jig or a creature bait or something like that so like I said um there are all different sizes um this specific size is a three inch blood um when you're going for like crawfish like live imitations white is a good color it really depends on the water when you're doing um and depends on the water if it's if you're fishing like a like these guys let me show you here like a swim shed like these guys if you're fishing like a swim shed then you're gonna want to go i don't know why i bought these this isn't the best color this is green pepper uh, i mean it'll this color still works because it's shiny but white white would be good white blue like um crankbait colors jerkbait colors be good um well, why not why well, have these out might as well explain how to fish these these are swim shads um you just i don't have any hooks with me they're all upstairs but you take a hook and you just thread it right through like you would that like like you would this crawl same way just thread it right on through from the nose and just thread it right through and then just throw it out reel it um the depth where it is in the water column is it depends how fast you reel um and how long you let it sink so that's these guys um like i said crawfish are good in the summertime uh, spring fall maybe winter depending on where you're fishing um very good bait they're up there with the sinko for me um one of my favorites uh Another very, very helpful bait would be the jig. Not, I'm not talking about the skirted jig. I'm talking about the Mr. Twister jig. Like, um, let me open these guys up. This is a clear. Man, oh man, they're sticky. That's not good. So this is a, a white jig. This one is. Uh, works pretty good. Um, it's the bigger one. But I have a case of small ones here. Let me show you here. Uh, she's white. Oh, oh, you can get these at the store for very cheap, and they're very productive. Uh, like the little Mr. Twister jigs, just you know, your basic. I think they call them like worms, artificial worms. I think I don't know. I call them Mr. Twister tail, you know, jigs, whatever. Uh, and then all you do is you take your jig head. Uh, let's go white here so y'all can see it. And then you just take your jig head and you take your jig and thread it right through there. Just like that. Just Oh man, I got the I got a problem with dropping stuff. <laughs> just like that guys. And you can do a lot of stuff. You can throw it out, bounce it, you can throw it out, reel it in, you can do anything with these things. Um I went to a pond one time at a campground and it was very pressured pond uh, for those of you who don't know if, some, if someone says it's pressured that means that a lot of people are fishing it that it's very fished um, so that means the fish are you know kind of skeptical uh, I would just throw it out let it sink and right when I didn't see it again I would just pop it up oh my goodness they slayed them just be creative with these jigs with these jigs I mean, you can catch you can catch so many different fish so many different ways just be creative um, all right, let's see. I covered. Here's another color of flukes. I wanted to show y'all while I'm at it. Um, these are needle tail. That means their tail is like a needle. There's nothing on their tail. Um, is green. Green's a. Now you'd think that this wouldn't be a good color, but this color and the white I have a lot of. Um, I like green, especially in more grassy areas, lily pads and stuff because it blends in more. It, stand, it blends in more, it looks like it's from there and if the bass are skeptical like in a pressured pond these will really come in handy when you're doing when you're fishing that kind of water. 
Anyway, so all right, now that we got those dates out of the way, um, so let's see if I can remember everything we covered in these past two videos. We covered crankbait, jerkbait, jig, spinnerbait, chatterbait. No, we didn't do a chatterbait. I don't, I don't have any of those right now. Um, we did a buzzbait. We did, um, we did a frog. We did a spook. We did a popper. Um, we did a jig. Did a cross.